Tiger Lily squad. It gang gang. <laughs> how you living? How you breathing? How you feeling? It's good. listen, listen, listen. Okay. It is your girl Essence O'Shea. We are back in the building. Where have I been? Um. Um. I don't know, girl. I've been here. It's not my fault that y'all haven't been on Instagram. I mean, on YouTube. Like, what you talking about? Anyways, um, but real talk. Um, I've been gone for a hot minute. Like, a very hot minute. And I just... I just wasn't feeling YouTube, just the short end of the stick. I was not feeling YouTube. I did not feel like I aligned with it anymore. I felt like I served my purpose when I had my locks. Now that I no longer have my locks, I just I just felt like I just did not know what to do with my life. Um, but it is November 1st and in my head, I calculated that I wanted to do a 30 day, no, not 30, 60 day reset because the year is about to end. And honestly and truly, what I had envisioned for the year 2023, I'm already into the new year. Things have happened that were on my list, but majority of the stuff have not. Um, I've been slacking on my fitness, on just how I present myself, on my business, on my creativity. I've just been slacking tremendously. So um, you guys didn't really miss a lot. I j literally have been working, going home, playing with my dog, and that's really it. I really haven't been doing anything. So when I tell you I have been slacking on my pimping, like your girl hasn't been on a Zoom but she about to be on her Zoom, right? So um, I'm going to be doing the 60 day reset. And what that really entails is one, I really want to get more closer with God. Like I've been reading the Bible, but it hasn't really been intentional. Like I just been reading it, just kind of just to read it really and truly, but I want to get more intentional in the word and more intentional with him. Also, my appearance, like, I look semi-decent now. <laughs> what? But I ain't gonna hold y'all. Like, the way how I've been stepping out my house, going to the trash, going to the grocery store, wherever, I just have just been throwing on whatever, making sure my face is moisturized, and that's it. So I'm gonna be more intentional in my appearance because I feel like honestly, the way you look, like the way you see yourself will be reflected on the inside. It might be backwards, but I feel like there's a science to that. Because if I look in the mirror and I look crappy, I ain't gonna wanna do nothing. You feel me? But, bring y'all down this a little bit. But if I look, presentable and I look like I'm about to go do something and I'm about to go like conquer the day and I have stuff to do even if I don't it's going to push me and it's going to force me to do things and and then another thing that I wanted to do is like start getting back to doing things that made me happy like taking care of my mental health more than just like journaling and speaking to God and talking to the therapist like what actually made me made me happy like what things made me happy outside of including everybody else so I started already but I started like painting so painting used to be my shit you hear me so um I bought these like boards from Amazon that has like drawings on it and then you just like paint. I'm starting to slow um, and then I think I'm gonna go back into learning the guitar because I started when I was in Brooklyn and then when I moved down here I like stopped completely but essentially this is what I want to get my focus back because I've lost my focus in its entirety like I lost my focus with myself I lost my focus with my business I lost my focus with my creativity 
I put so much into other people, child, that I just lost me. Like, lost what made me happy, lost me. And I need to bring her back. Do you hear me? I need to bring her back because next year I'm about to make a big number. She been here for a while and it's not because that birthday is coming up. It's just, it's time for me to step out on faith when it involves myself. You know, it's time for me to finally take care of me in a way that I would take care of others be protective of me in a way that I haven't I don't think ever it's kind of sad but I mean y'all keep it a buck with yourself right um I don't have locks these are mini twists with just extension I still have like some alopecia type stuff going on and that's another thing too I thought like I mastered my stress but obviously I haven't and it's been coming in some weird ways like it's been coming where my scalp like little patches so like I have this twist here and it feels like super tight it's not tight like I didn't do it tight Shall... hold on cause that might work Relax, relax. So yeah, um, I've been like breaking out, but like not breaking out with like zits. It's like my skin is like, I don't know. Maybe I just need like a detox or something. Um, oh, I was in the hospital, admitted a month or so ago because I had like tonsillitis. I didn't have to have surgery, but that's the only thing that really is like brand new that <laughs> happened. Um, so all these things really and truly, I just had to like sit down and just be completely honest with myself and realize like what you're looking for from other people, you're just not gonna get it. Especially because I heard some like really messed up stuff involving family. And I just had to have a hard conversation with my mom and I told her like, listen, like your family, and I say what I said intentionally and I felt guilty about it, but then I realized, nah, I'm right your family I have no more interest in them like I don't they are toxic uh, they bring out the worst in people they don't have no accountability they don't take no responsibility for their actions and all they do is point fingers at other people and you make mistakes in life growing up and they hold on to them and fester on them while they walk around like the devils and I and that contributed to a lot of my people pleasing. It contributed to a lot of my sadness and just like not feeling good about myself and a lot of the mistakes that I've made. I know I mean I take responsibility for them and I accept them. I made the mistakes. There are certain environments and places that you are put in that when you don't have the right uh, mindset or whatever it is. Um, can help you make certain decisions in life that you later on regret. But the point is to take accountability for yourself because yeah, I could blame them. And I probably would be justified. I keep it up, up. but at the end of the day, I still made um, those bad decisions as like a teenager and stuff like that. But either way, like there's just some toxic individuals and I just, if they're not my grams, if they're not my mom, my my siblings, my stepdad, my dog, uh, my brother's new wife, I got the mental capacity for it because just the things that I've heard that they've said about me, and they, I guess they thought I would not hear it. I just, and this is why I talk about when I'm giving myself a reset. It's more than just the physical appearance, and it's more than just career like I need to be 
particular, very particular with who has access to me. And I've never done that. I've never done that. And now, like, everybody cannot have access to me. I'm sorry. If that means that I walk around with one or two friends, that is completely fine with me. People need people in their life. They need them. So to act like you don't need nobody, I think is, no. I think even in the Bible it says that. Don't quote me, because I'm still learning it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I just wanted to tell y'all I'm back. Like for real. Um, I'm going to do this 60 day reset because I want to go into the new year with a better mindset. It's not going to be completely healed. Oh, and I'm working on my finances too. My credit has gone in the crapo. People don't talk about that a lot, but mine has definitely gone in the crapo, so I need to fix that. Um, but I want to go into the new year going into a better space like at least i'm doing the steps to help me you know what i'm saying um instead of the new year starting i'm like yeah let's do it and then the new year starts and i'm like yo what the f here we go again and that's another thing i need to change my mindset my mindset has become so negative and toxic that it just pours out to other things in my life and i really have to work on that I really have to work on that. If you're not following me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok at Essence of Shay. I be posting like sticky notes that I write to myself and I feel like it helps y'all out too. Um, and then here on YouTube, like we got to get back into it. And honestly, I don't know what I'm going to be posting. I'm going to just keep it real with y'all. I don't know what I'm going to be posting. Hopefully, whatever I post, y'all rock with it. If you don't, I completely understand. Peace and blessings to you. Um, I get it. It's your page. You watch what you want to watch. I can't force you to do that. But if you choose to stick around, or if you sticked around this whole time, like, I really rock with you. Like, Tiger Lily Squad. Gang, gang. Let's go. Anyways, that's all I have for now. Um, oh. And final thing, I told y'all last time, but I'm in school for to get my psychology degree with a concentration in mental health. Honor roll student. Honor roll student. Bye, bye. I'm saying bye, bye. Crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the.